Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my summer makeup routine. It is super easy, it's super light, so I definitely recommend it. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say, so let's just get to it. First what I like to do is do my skin routine in the summer. I use the Laneige toner first. I think it's super important to make sure your skin is in check especially during the summer because you are wearing less makeup so you want to make sure your skin is looking as best as it can look so i'm just going to the toner all over my face using a cotton round don't forget the neck so we're just gonna let that dry let it sink into the skin once that's all into the skin i like to use my eye cream I use the Laneige eye cream, love this, uh, it's very cooling, so it feels nice. Just want to pat it all over your eyes. Usually I also like to put it in between my eyebrows and my forehead also, and then around my um, on my parentheses on my face but I recently started using a new product and it broke me out so I'm gonna avoid doing that today once that is in I go in with the Tatcha water cream as a moisturizer I love this stuff uh, and because it is a water cream it feels very light so it's excellent for summer not as heavy and just spread it around your face also don't mind this my birthday was recently so I have balloons here okay so since the moisturizer I use does not have any SPF uh, I like to go in with a sunscreen before I put any makeup on. I just have this sport sunscreen here. This is SPF 50 from Target. Um, so I'm just going to put this all over my face. And you're probably like, why don't you just use something that has sunscreen in it? Well, it's actually been clinically proven that... The sunscreen in products is actually not enough for your face. And if anything, it contains less than what the amount says. So, I like to just go in separately with sunscreen. Plus SPF 20 or 25, which is commonly used in products, is not enough for your skin at all. So, I like to go in with 50 or... 100 if I'm able to find a hundred, but it's very hard to find Once the sunscreen is in your skin, I pers I personally don't use foundation in the summer. I think it's too much Product for me. So I just like to use concealer. I use the Tarte concealer the shape tape in uh, medium honey Also, does this happen to anyone else it gets all over the edges or is it just me? It gets me really mad Anyways, so with the concealer, I just like to go in towards my imperfections. This time around, I have a lot because of the product that I was using. So I'm going to go in all over those spots. Amazing how certain products can easily make you break out. And I just like to go with this type of brush. This is from Morph. I don't know what number this is. And then I just blend all over. I usually have to go heavy around the eye area since my under eye circles are pretty bad. And then you're also probably like, why don't you just get a tinted moisturizer? No, I refuse. I'm not going to spend money on that. If I could easily just do this, it would be the exact same thing. Now that I have concealer all over my problem areas, I like to go in with a base powder. I use the NYX um, 
HD Studio finishing powder. It's the translucent one. And then I'll just put it all over the areas where I have concealer. And then Now, I like to be generous when it comes to my powder because I have very oily skin. So I don't put eyeshadow on a lot during the summer. If anything, I'll put bronzer on my lids. So I'm just going to use the NARS. This is uh, Laguna bronzer. And I'm just going to put this all over my lids. I'm just gonna put it all over. Nothing too crazy, just to add a little color, I guess. Just like that, nothing crazy. Then I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I use the Fenty Beauty and I'm just gonna wing them out a bit. Nothing too crazy, like I said, just to give it a little dimension. works then I'm going to do my eyebrows as well I use the oh crap I don't even know what this is this is the L'Oreal Paris brow stylus I think I don't know I'll link it below and I really like this surprisingly there's a lot of product in here I've had this for a while and it's still going strong so I highly recommend this is the darkest brown, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows now. Okay, so I had to do it off camera. As you can see, they're now filled in. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna, what I just used for my lids, and I'm just going to slightly contour my face. Nothing crazy. Again, this is a very natural, this is a very natural look, so. Then the last thing I like to do is just put on some mascara on my lashes. I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. So I put on my mascara as you just saw and then I just recently I started using this Mario Badescu facial spray. I use the green one with cucumber and green tea. And what I've been liking to do is just spray it all over my face after I'm done with my makeup. It's very refreshing so yeah that is my summer makeup as you can see I don't really do anything crazy I like to keep it at a minimum as possible um, yeah this is what I usually wear every day it usually takes me a lot of, like 10 minutes if I don't do talking but obviously I'm making a video so I'm going to speak but yeah it's very light very functional it does its job and it's super natural, so it feels like it feels like you have nothing on your face. So yeah, all the products that I've used will be listed down below. And if you have any questions or any comments, you can always just leave them down below as well. And if you like what you see, you can always like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>